Hi guys, my name is Chris, uh, part of Ford Ranger Forum. This is my Ranger 2000 Ford Ranger 4x4 XLT, uh, the sport model, really no difference in, in between those years. Um, so this is video one, I'm just going to start off in the first video explaining you know, everything I did with my suspension. Mostly everything was, well, my my lift in general, but mostly everything was uh, pretty cheap, honestly. Uh, these are 33s I have on there, Kendis, uh, Kevlar's, MT's, but uh, start off the front. So this is all stock parts. It's torsion bar crank, you can see my CV axle angle isn't too bad uh, it is it is pretty at a pretty good angle but I haven't noticed anywhere and it's been about 35,000 miles um, the shock tower the, the shocks are stock shocks and I've gave them extra play and pretty much all I did was uh, took the, the lower piece here and I cut it and then I went to um, Home Depot, added in about four inches more um, round steel here, and that that way, you know, when I hit bouncing, when I'm bouncing and everything, I'm not pulling against my shot. I keep my, from what it feels like, I'm keeping my um, stock ride, and the metal cost me like ten bucks on both sides, but uh. The issue with that though is your suspension is going to flex too far down and break your ball joints and other parts and rip out your CV axles. So what I did is I found my maximum point of flex and I got a uh, 14 inch limit strap that I put right here behind the, the uh, spindle knuckle and attached to one of the holes that are already there. Worked out perfectly. It's 14 inches and I think I paid $40 for two. Yeah, so that's the front. And the torsion bar is maxed out. So yeah, flush. Both sides are maxed out. And decent ride. Gives me everything that I need from it. Um, and uh, eBay I also got a uh, the camber, camber alignment bolts, those were, I want to say, 25 bucks, and I just got those, that way I can keep my tires straight up and down without having uneven wear. As far as the, the rear, uh, standard block that comes with the truck, the 4x4 models, and the... Uh, just the shackle, the uh, Chevy Chevy lowering kit shackle. Um, I haven't elongated the shocks back here yet, but I do have um, Chevy style um, shock lifts for those. Standard gearing, 373s. Um, so yeah, and the uh, body lift. Did a three inch body lift. Oh, well, oh. that's the gap guards I made. Home Depot, just standard rubber matting, just bolted up. Some of it's held in with zip ties, but OEM fasteners, the zip ties, it works. But, uh, here's the, uh, I think I paid. The fifteen dollars, like ten bucks for the uh, the pipe, the conduit from uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, and then washers. And all I did was I cut out a little under three inches of pipe, and then I welded washers on each end and placed them in as if you were to do a normal body lift. And these are steel conduit, so. You don't expect them to fall apart like polyurethane, so 
kind of trust metal more than I do plastic and rubber. But, um, that's it for my body lift or my suspension and everything. I'll be making more videos. Alright, thanks.